Hey, you know what I haven't done in a while? Talk about Fanny. Fanny's pretty great. I like me some Fanny. She's uh not half bad, that Fanny. Oh, Fanny. Alright everyone, it's Curly Red here and welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum. Last time we took down all of the gym trainers that were in the Gromant City Gym. So now it's time to take on Atlas, the Gromant City Gym Leader. Um, before I actually take him on, I have some rather interesting news. So I did a little bit of research, um, and I looked into... Or... Uh, how I could get CJ to evolve because you know I figured since like in the original game it was really dumb that you had to trade and uh, to evolve it and that really sucks because you know obviously I can't do that for this game so I had to um I had thought that you know like most hacks that they would change that that you had to use a water stone or you just attach the dragon tail to it or you know some nonsense like that you know I figured they would have fixed that like most other hacks do but no apparently <laughs> I just can't involve Ariel so I hate to say it which is kind of a waste because I've gotten her all the way to 48 but this is gonna have to be the last episode that I do with Ariel just cuz Seedra is not really that good of a Pokemon. I mean, I guess, sure, she has a lot of special attack. But, uh, I, I, I don't think so, man. I mean, maybe I'll give it some second thought. I mean, well, she probably has a lot of special attack because she's actually really high-leveled. Um, yeah, I don't see it being really feasible for me to keep Ariel if she's not going to evolve. Because I don't think a Seedra is going to be really that useful, especially since I'm pretty sure at the rate I'm going, at the Elite Four, I'm going to eat facing off against level hundreds and Cedra not really good <laughs> uh, for the long run so I don't know welcome to the Groman City gym they call me the Prince of Sand the trainer who uses ground Pokemon and the most powerful physical attacks in battle but enough talk let's fight interestingly enough fucking Ramparados is actually a rock type you fucking herb <laughs> the fuck you mean all right, so he starts off with his Comparot. We got Fanny out here. Um, fortunately, still don't have any ground type moves, so I guess I can go for rollout. Eh, earthquake ain't shit. <laughs> Fanny don't give a fuck about that. Fanny can eat all the earthquakes you can. All right, that did nothing. This is, this is all right. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> flamethrower, yeah, flamethrower, we can do it. Okay. That wasn't the greatest idea. I don't know, because I figured Headbutt wouldn't do that much damage. I thought Rollout would eventually end up doing a lot of damage, but that didn't work out. Um, alright. Uh, I could just go in for Ariel. I mean, it is four times a week. Well, fuck it. Alright, since this is possibly the last time I use Ariel, i just see if I can stretch it out as long as possible. Because, like, I don't know. It, she doesn't really learn any moves either, so, like... Fuck, well, what's the point? <laughs> I'm way better off just getting another Pokemon that can actually evolve and have some, like, you know, full potential. Because Ariel is just a fucking little... Like, I don't know, man. You, you guys get what I'm saying, right? Like, it's disappointing. I was really looking forward to having a Kingdra by, you know, the end of this series or, you know, something like that. But never fucking mind. Oh well, got an extra jewel here. Extra jewel shouldn't be that big of a deal. I mean, it's not exactly the strongest Pokemon when it comes to defense, so I should be able to take this guy down. One, two, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can see there she can't even take a lot of hits either. She doesn't really have the greatest HP or anything like that, and she's like a really high level. I mean, I look at this shit. <laughs> she's already level 50, about to be. So, I mean, I, I don't know what you want me to do. Um, and then to top it all off, he still only knows Water Gun. Like, I'm probably going to get Surf um, the next town or, you know, whatever, fine. But still, come on, man. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And she hasn't learned anything else. She just learned Jilly. That's the only move she's learned. And that's it. She hasn't learned a damn thing since then. Like, I think maybe I could have taught her Ice Beam. Maybe. That's a maybe. I don't even know for sure if she learns Ice Beam. But I probably could have taught her Ice Beam. But I ended up teaching that to Lizaberry instead. 
Uh, sorry, that's a yawn. <laughs> um, well, honestly, in my opinion, I think I could probably use it a little bit better. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, that sucks, because not only does Ariel not really go out <laughs> like I had hoped it to do, but to top it all off, I might be in a pickle in this battle, because I think he still has Remparados left and maybe one other Pokemon. So I don't really have anything else that I can do. Um, oh, fuck. Of course he's going to do that. I I Man, I should have gone for Metronome, because I would have clearly gotten really lucky and gotten that Earthquake. <laughs> oh, well. I, don't know. I remember I was really hyped when I found out that you can um, do combo moves like that. Like, you can use um, Earthquake after your opponent uses Dig. And that's really awesome, where you could use Thunder after your opponent uses Fly. Like, those are really cool kinds of mechanics that I think like they should do more of. Like, they should expand on that in the future. Because I feel like that's what um, sort of puts Pokemon closer to the... Uh, or rather, puts the games closer to the, you know, the anime series. In a sense, if you have more freedom to, you know, do stupid ass shit like, oh, dodge the attack every time. Or, you know, <laughs> combine your attacks to do some bullshit. You know, stuff like that. Like, that kind of, like, uh, combo potential really helps the game out a lot, I think. So, uh, uh, fuck it, I don't know. I can't really think of anything else that could happen. Like, maybe if I used uh, Whirlwind and there's a Sandstorm or, like, you know... Um, Warwind and there's a uh, smoke screen when used, like they do in the anime in every fucking episode. <laughs> Maybe, you know, your accuracy will come back up. Because it's really funny because that's what they do. Um, that's why every season um, they make a bird Pokemon. Every series. Um, every generation. That's right. I said like every other word than what I wanted to do. Uh, every other generation of Pokemon. They're not fucking. Every generation of Pokemon, they make a bird Pokemon. Ash always catches that bird Pokemon first that did shit for damage. He always catches it first. And then that's the Pokemon that he uses for whenever Team Rocket does some stupid shit and he needs to fly to, you know, use Gust to get rid of their shit. Or that's the Pokemon they use when something's lost and they need to fucking find it. That's it. That's the only purpose those two Pokemon serve. Or, sorry, that's the only purpose, the only two purposes those Pokemon serve. I am fucking all over the place today, man. I'm like, I don't know, I'm kind of tired, but like, not really. Oh, I have Steel Wing, great! Fuck yeah, I knew that would come in handy eventually. Because <laughs> I know if I use it against like, a uh, normal Pokemon, it doesn't really do a lot of damage. Oh, fuck, that's gonna hurt like hell. Yep. See, if it was the normal fucking, uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Ancient power, it wouldn't be that bad. Because at least that way it would have been a special type attack. Um, so it wouldn't hurt that as much. But in this case, since it's just generation, ancient power is actually a physical move. Oh, sweet, my defense rose. That's awesome. Oh, whoa, that was weird. <laughs> he just fucking vanished into thin air. He didn't, like, um, decrease through the screen like he's supposed to. Alright, so. Uh, going really tight in this match. I should be able to survive this sandstorm. Alright. My defense is up, so that's good. I'm also up against, um, oh, fuck. You know, the one time I want a fucking hyper potion, there we go. I'm also up against a clay doll, who doesn't really have a lot of attack. So I should presumably, oh, uh, well, shit. That's gonna suck. Um, I should have used Endeavor, actually. I should have predicted some bullshit was gonna happen. That would have actually been extremely awesome if I managed to do that, but. Oh well. The only problem is that this fucking sandstorm is really gonna mess up my steez. Ugh, I'm not really gonna be able to do much. Yep, and that's not really doing much. Ah, Jesus, caramba. That's gonna hurt. Well, I mean, not that much, but still hyper beam. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that did like no damage. Speaking of which, that's another thing. I always thought that, like, it, like, it would have made sense. Like, I know it would have been broken, like, as if Sandstorm was annoying and your know, weather wasn't bad enough. But I would assume that inaccuracy would have at least lowered your um, inaccuracy. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would have thought at least inaccuracy would have lowered your Sandstorm. So when you use um, low accuracy, it would, you know, not move as much. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would have thought that when you use Sandstorm, it would lower your accuracy. 
or at least in the case of like if you use fire blast or moves that have low accuracy it lowers it even a little bit more something like that to at least balance it out kind of but i don't know whatever your fighting style is impressive you have a strong team of pokemon Congratulations on your victory. As a reward, you've earned the fifth badge of the Zephyr League, the Earth Badge. Sweet. With the Earth Badge, you can use HMO 3 Surf outside of battle. Being able to travel to the oceans and seas will be very useful on your journey. In addition, I'll give you a specific TM. Oh, hello. Is that Earthquake? That's Earthquake. That's fucking Earthquake. Without a doubt, the best. Ground attack in existence. Had a random voice crack. <clears throat> Use it wisely. Alright, that's not bad. I actually don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with Earthquake. Cause I know, uh, Fanny learns it soon? Like, not right now, but like really soon. So I might as well just save that off for like another Pokemon. I can't really think of who specifically to teach it to. I mean, because it's not like Arcanine can learn it, Ariel can learn it, Ramsey could learn it. So, that might be a thing. <laughs> not sure if I'm going to actually end up doing that, but I don't know, we'll see. But I'll hold on to Earthquake for now. Well, that was weird. Did I just, like, walk? Yep, I just... <laughs> I just walked on the fucking roof of the Mart. Alright. Oh, okay. Um, alright, okay. Um, anyways. <laughs> just a dumb little graphical graphical error there. Um, Alright, I don't think there's really much for me to do in this place. I think the last thing that I need to do is to just go up here into this cave. Mount Zephyr. Because that's really the only other place I can go, I think. Let's see what's inside here. Let's just take a little peek. Oh, uh, trainers. Mount Zephyr. I mean, I, I, I don't think I've been here before, right? I'm pretty sure I haven't been here. I don't know, because that like this chick looks kind of familiar, but there's a Pokeball there, so I definitely haven't been here. I'm the most beautiful girl in this cave, and I like battles. <laughs> what is she, a gamer girl? <laughs> Am I right, guys? <laughs> Silly girls thinking they can play games. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Um, I guess I just use Rollout. I mean, it's a flying type. Why not use Rollout? I mean, I really wish I had a decent, like, actual rock type move. It would really help out Fanny, but I can't really do anything about that. Fuck. She said something silly. I didn't get to read it. This cave gets very dark at night, and everyone is scared of what Pokemon might emerge. I think that's actually what she said. That's pretty interesting. Uh, alright, so I got an escape rope. I have a feeling that I'm gonna encounter one of my rivals extremely soon. Alright, so we got this guy here. Oh, never mind. This world would be a much better place if everyone helped to preserve our forest. Okay, <laughs> let me just, you know, analyze this situation for a second. So, there's a random fisherman in the cave, and he's telling me <laughs> that we should preserve the forest. I don't know, man, like, circumstances <laughs> are kind of, I don't know, like, <laughs> I, fuck it. You, you, you do you, man, you do you, I do me. Um, alright, I would usually play a repel, but I'm trying to see if maybe I can catch anything cool. Doesn't seem like it, I mean a bronze dog, that's kinda of boring. Golbat, who the fuck wants a Golbat? Or a Zubat, I don't want any of that shit. Max repel. Um, Rhyhorn, that's actually kinda of cool, but I already have Fanny, so that's kinda of pointless. Um, <laughs> he does learn Surf when he evolves the Rhydon, so I mean, if I were to try to replace Ariel ASAP, that would be nice. Um, Alright, I guess I'll take on you. Mount Zephyr can be very dangerous if your Pokemon are low leveled. Well, no, nah, I think I think I'm good, bro. <laughs> I mean, granted, uh, my levels are a bit skewed. Ouch, that hurt. Um, are a bit skewed at the moment because I have you know Ariel at basically 50. Uh, but then I also have you know Fanny at 40, and then. Come on, man. Oh, okay. I thought it was fucking uh, Ariel that was learning Rapid Spin. Like, bro, really? Rapid Spin? <laughs> uh, anyways, I don't really need Rapid Spin. That's not going to do me any good in a fucking playthrough. Nobody's going to be setting up Self Rocks. That doesn't make sense yet, thank God. Um, so I don't have to worry about any of that bullshit. Alright, so I'll give it one more encounter. 
Um, and uh, then I'll just spray repel. I really need to go back and buy some potions before I leave this town, huh? Yeah, and see, and I have fucking Growlithe at like 37, so I gotta kind of like balance shit out. Um, speaking of which, I think I should be able to evolve him pretty soon. Um, ooh, hey, Aaron, that's cool. Don't really feel like catching that either. I'm scared of this cave. I saw a terrifying Zubat. I'm too scared to stay here, but I like rock Pokemon. This cave is fucking weird, man. People are saying the weirdest fucking shit. Um, alright. Uh, oh, really? Route two, uh, 214. Wow. <laughs> I swear to God, yo, I'm I'm pretty dyslectic sometimes. Dyslex dyslexic. Sometimes, because I read a bunch of shit backwards. All the Never fucking mind. Alright. <laughs> Lying ass sign. I thought it was going to be right fucking here, man. Uh, stay fresh.